guys, it is me, Sa, your anime protagonist VTuber, and welcome back to Sire's Reactions, where I react to anime that are in my to-watch list, and today, we are going to react to episode 5 of our Guilty Pleasure anime for summer 2023, and, uh, no, it's not the Guilty Pleasure anime, I, I think Rent a Girlfriend is the gr Guilty Pleasure anime, but, you know, this is one of them too, uh, the Isekai anime that we are watching for summer 2023, which is, uh, Reborn as a vending machine now i wander the dungeon uh, it's about the guy who actually became a vending machine you know uh now you've seen everything what's next reborn as a fish maybe uh but yo uh my boy uh boxo so let's have a recap so my boy boxo got kidnapped no not kidnapped stolen he's an item right so he's stolen he was stolen last episode and we finally got to meet hugh lemmy hugh lemmy Right, the, the 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 mad scientist engineer that Lamis was has been talking about that she knows. It seems like she was also kidnapped because these uh what you call this low lives uh bandits. I don't know who they are, but uh, these bad guys had a plan to actually take Boxo's all of the money inside Boxo and uh, also sell him. Uh, and so they ki also kidnap Yulemi so she can figure out how our boy works. Our boy works so that they could like get the money and also sell the, sell our boy to some other aristocrat, I guess. But they all failed because you know, uh, well, last episode we just got character development. We got introduced to Yulemi. Uh, she now knows that our boy here is a reincarnated guy that the soul inside a machine, uh, and. Um, and yeah, so that's basically what happened last episode. And yeah, last episode they got uh when once they got close together, uh, Lamis and the uh party. I forgot the name uh of the party, but you know the the guy with the cowboy hat and everyone else uh helped I guess to rescue Boxo and uh Yulemi, I guess. And then uh yeah, my my girl Lamis crying her eyes out, almost breaking our boy. Uh. With a hug but yeah that's basically what happened last episode it's more of like just an introduction to a, a new character i guess and we got ourselves a background of like magical engineers i guess too as well so this is more like a world building anime again I, i've been saying this every single episode that this is a world building anime so uh so yeah i want to see what's going to happen next how 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 how, how are you let me the other so what shenanigans are, are they gonna be up to next episode so let's start this reaction uh, already so uh, <clears throat> so if you guys if you guys are new to the channel i do anime reactions i upload random stuff and i also stream games so if you guys want to join in and hang out sometimes hit that subscribe button that like button as well due to copyright issues i am not putting any footage in my video but I would leave a timer so you can synchronize with a legal copy or a legal streaming service of your choice. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's do this. Um, Reborn as a Venting Machine, Episode 5. Reaction starts in 3, 2, 1, go. Let's go. <laughs> oh. in, a, in a forest far, far away, we have... A strong chick just punching a river to ob uh, get some fish. Yo, wait, Lamis is young. Is this like a flashback? Okay. <laughs> it's a quick way to finish. Oh yeah, punching the river. The most efficient way to get some fish. Punching the riverbed. Ah, <laughs> uh, so basically they have been known each other. They have known each other for a long time. product oh wait oh no this is not a flashback this must be some sort of like genjutsu that Lamis is in or is she dreaming or something oh feels familiar yes oh my god she's groping the vending machine what the fuck is wrong with her uh-huh Oh, she is dreaming. Holy shit. I got I thought she was like trapped in some genjutsu or something. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 
Old incident. Probably okay. Okay, what incident are you talking about? Oh, so what? So their village was destroyed. So does that include my my girl's parents? Ah, oh, they lost her parents. So she's an orphan. We're getting backstories. Nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what? So, so are you telling me that this our girl? Yeah, she has that kind of past. Oh, my boy is like reminding me of Shisho from Reincarnated as a Sword. So they're just taking care of little girls. So my boy is like vending machine papa. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> Yo, my girl just doing, uh, what do you call this? Shadow martial arts on the forest. Da -da -da. This opening is like showing that they're, they're, Lamis and the vending machine has some weird relationship. Oh, I just realized the other the other sideline is just like uh my boy's different forms. Vanity, pride and vending machine. Oh. Okay, so she's gonna live here for a while. Is that her tent? So are you telling me she's living besides Boxo? Uh huh. Oh, she's still. Yo, this is the most realistic village destruction in anime I've ever seen. Like, it's been taking them several episodes to recover from the damages of a single monster. So they're still under construction, man. Oh, oh wait, are these the, the bodyguards of that, uh, uh, what do you call this, spoiled brat? Uh-huh, so they want to request? She's gonna ask her to, are they gonna say she's gonna ask her to get Boxo too? Okay. <laughs> oh, she's here. Okay, why does she sounds nice? Where's the smug Ojo Somaho attitude? Oh, she's adorable, but we all know she's a spoiled brat. The way she like fights with Lamis. <laughs> okay. Soon influential merchant families would go there. Okay. Oh, so she's a from a merchant family? The one who planned to gather with girl named Kanashi. Uh-huh. Okay, so her rival. Oh, there it is. There's the spoiled there's the spoiled uh Ojo Sama attitude. Uh-huh. Okay, Okay, my boy is going to play. <laughs> okay, uh, despite the fact that she's not nice to Lamis, I guess she's just a spoiled girl. Uh huh. Oh. Okay, so is that 
Is that okay? So that's where is uh, that's Kanashi. Oh no, she has a smug face. Okay, okay. Oh, holy shit, that's I really hate Ojo Sama type characters, man. They're so smug. I don't like smug characters, like. Although I find them cute, but you know, they remind me of like red flag girls that I have like experienced in my life, like spoiled rich girls too. Like they're not nice. Disappear injured and won't able to hold the candle to her. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, she's so. Uh-huh. Later show me your miserable frustration. Oh the shit. Okay, are are they really kids? Like they sound like a bunch of like smug adults. Okay, I can forgive them if they really are kids, but <laughs> Oh my god, Hugh Lemmy is just amused of what the heck is happening. Okay. Oh, Okay, they're gonna show magic items. Okay, what the heck is that? Transform into ranged weapons. <coughs> okay. Huh? What the fuck? Uh. What the heck is this? <laughs> Holy shit, what the fuck? This is just a stick. It's not a magic item, it's just a stick and he's like attaching iron heads inside of it. Uh, okay, what kind of junior science fair is this? What the hell? Oh, this one is from the Kanashi girl. Ooh. Oh, this guy looks like an evil scientist. He's, he looks like a bad guy. So is this gonna be like Hugh Lemmy's rival or something? Oh, look! What the heck is that? Is that an Egyptian robot? A certain monster. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, did my boy just figure out what AI is? Uh-huh. That the technology for endowing magic items with intelligence hasn't been discovered. Yes. Uh-huh. That's such a dangerous that it's prohibited magic item engineers association. Okay, so this guy went the bad way, bad route. Okay, so that's how dangerous it is. Okay. Oh. Oh no, it's malfunctioning. Uh. Okay, that's convenient. Okay, did didn't he this guy test it before this? And now it's going haywire. <laughs> you woke me from my sleep. Oh shit. Oh no, it's a vengeful spirit. A human soul inside the puppet. Uh-huh. Oh no. Okay, hold that thing down. Oh, yo! Are all those guards? Yo! Damn! Okay, damn you, Lemmy! Brainwashing spell inside. Okay, so they're brainwashing a soul inside. So this guy is doing some weird dark magic shit.
Aha. Okay, rest in peace. <laughs> if Rogue Fiend died, Paul, uh huh. Well, he'll let me. Girl wonder of mayhem. Problem child called all the explosion is fires. At a school. Oh my god, jeez. <laughs> okay, so are you telling me our girl here is like drug purified water? <laughs> so what? Is he a failure? Is she a failure? Okay. Okay. But it says it just means I can consider a request. Okay. Oh no, no one's not the same box, so. Oh. Okay, is this a time skip? <laughs> Lake Stratum. Uh huh. Okay. They reach extend this far. What the heck is that? Of seventy percent of the strata that has been released. Uh huh. Ruined it then. Okay, who are these guys? Chain restaurant. What the fuck? Wait, are these like mom and pop stores, and they're up against like a chain restaurant? Uh huh. Oh, my boy is invited. Okay. Are these like the local mom and pop stores? <laughs> and now they're up against globalism. <laughs> Chain restaurants. Okay. <laughs> they're just going out of business. <laughs> okay, so they are witnessing the same problems. But it looks like my boy also is a threat to them. Okay. So these are the local restaurants. <laughs> Way to deal with the situation. <laughs> okay. If it'll help I miss get rid of any reason, okay. Okay, so my boy is doing this for Lamis. So she can have like an in discount. <laughs> oh, what is this like? Why are there chains? It's a chain restaurant with actual chain. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Okay, this is dumb, but okay. Okay, you tell. Boxes on your back. Uh huh. Working for us. Uh huh. Here I say, my It's a real time. We'll be raking it in in anyway. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, so these are the chain restaurant. Uh huh. Boss was supposed this doesn't surprise or impress me. Okay, my boy's vending machine has better food than the chain restaurant. Everything basically tastes plain. Okay. <laughs> These guys are like meeting up like this is some serious evil organization, man. Okay, so it, this seems like an evil organization. What the fuck? Developing a new menu. 
Okay. <laughs> I mean, this is just dumb. How he can he eat? Yo, my boy can't. That, you know. Labor is a midweek. Uh huh. Oh, my boy. Is my boy gonna sell them ingredients? Uh huh. Okay. Oh yes, sell us ingredients. Oh yeah, if you are gonna be the supplier of these like restaurants, you you'll sure to earn a lot of money, boy. Okay. Oh. Okay, they, did they just set up their shops in front of the chain restaurant? Free to choose the fruit filling. Uh huh. Oh my god, the battle of local restaurants and globalist chain restaurants. Oh, my boy. Yo, are those hamburgers? Uh huh. Looks like things are out rather well. Okay, nice. And my boy has the monopoly of supplying these guys with. I look forward to your next use. <laughs> Yes, killing local business is bad. <laughs> oh, they went bankrupt? Okay. Okay, so the local restaurants association won. Thanks to our boy Boxo supplying them with food. Oh no, it's the... Pervert. <laughs> Once the winters are bare. Yes. <laughs> the rescue you after all. Oh, my boy is already using the rescue card. Manager of fools helping. Oh, thank you. Okay. One would usually be able to get a chance to accompany them. Uh huh. So. What kind of mission are they up against, man? And why why would that guy really want Boxo? Like, how important is a vending machine in this like future quest of them that they, this guy is preparing? Uh huh. Wait, are you telling me they're gonna hunt the monster that destroyed our girl's village? Uh huh. Oh, she's always kind to our boy. Uh, what the heck is this? Uh, 
Oh, my boy is selling, giving them flowers. Oh no, just selling. It's not selling, giving her. Oh, oh my God, it's the background. Yo. Oh, my boy gave her like a flower. How sweet. Oh, we're done. Damn it. Okay, so we got ourselves a setup, I guess. Well, a lot of things happened in this episode. Like, you have, like, the Ojosama fight, the soul setup. We're getting, like, more, uh, I guess there's an academy of engineers, too, as well. And Hulemi is very, uh, well-known. Na-da-da. Da, da, da. Oh, look at those flowers. My boy, what a playboy, giving a lot of girls a bunch of flowers. Having his own like harem. <laughs> I just realized the ending. Okay, next episode. No preview? Yes! Arigato gozaimashita! The fighting vending machine! Oh! Okay, we're gonna have some adventure next episode! So, uh... Yo! Next episode is supposed to be a boss fight! Okay, uh, we are now in the sixth episode. Next episode is gonna be a boss fight. But, yeah! My boy! My boy, uh, Boxo! What a good guy! Helping local businesses fight against globalists! <laughs> That are trying to like take their jobs and revenue and family away. Support local guys. Support local. You're helping your mom and pop shop and not international uh, corporations. Uh, go eat in local restaurants and uh, you know lessen the, the eating of fast food chains. <laughs> oh man. So that is the message of the story. But our boy has you know uh, by helping those local restaurants. My boy has like a monopoly of supplying them with the. Uh, uh, what you call this? My boy is giving them ingredients, like selling them ingredients, and he gets monopoly over those local restaurants. My boy is making bank, man. What a what a wise businessman! Like helping local uh, businesses fight against globalists, and while making a profit too as well. Well, I can't blame him. This is like capitalism 101, and my boy needs money to survive, like literally, right? It it like. I think one silver coin is like a few hours, I remember, if I remember correctly. But yeah, so our boy is now, uh, I guess, uh, what you call this, has decided to actually take care of Lamis. This actually kind of reminds me of reincarnated as a sword, man. Like, But less the adventure. So it's, it's kind of like that. So basically the, the core of the anime is about an isekai item father figure and a girl that they have to take care of like a cute girl daughter to take care of so i kind of get that and then the only difference here is like a reincarnated as, as a sword is an adventure a fantasy adventure anime while uh reborn as a vending machine this is not a this is not an adventure anime this is more of like a world building anime so uh it's like you know you just want to see how a vending machine interact with a fantasy world that's basically it. That's that's the premise of this entire story. And so far in that very genre, this this anime is killing it. It's just that not if not everyone's going to like this type of genre, but I like this kind of genre. It kind of like makes me like, you know, it's like exploring a new place, a new world in the eyes of the vending machine. <laughs> and yeah, so basically uh I guess next episode's going to be some battle i guess and we're gonna have since we had to set up this episode i guess so uh are you telling me so basically based on the setup or just based on the setup it seems like the party of the cowboy guy they're hunting something and it seems like lamis knows that what they're hunting is and it must be the same 
monster that destroyed her village. Uh, so are we gonna have some revenge boss arc next episode? I can't wait. So I guess that's it. Thank you guys for watching. This is Sai, your anime protagonist VTuber. Reward us the vending machine reactions every... Uh, I'm uploading this every Friday or if you're from the West, every Thursday evening. This is Sai, your anime protagonist VTuber. Have a great day, guys, and see you next episode. You guys can also check out my other anime reactions as well. Has have a great day, guys, and bye-bye.